everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. As always, check out the description below. I will put links to any shops that I feature in today's video. I will have any referral codes or discount links listed below, and I will have links to my social media as well. Um, today we're just doing a plan with me. I finally got a good grasp on using the Socialite Happy Planner, so I figured that I would show you all how I'm going to take an EC horizontal kit and use it to fit the Socialite Happy Planner. If you're like me, you've um, you know seen sticker kits you love from various shops and maybe they don't have them available for Happy Planner or you're not using a Happy Planner when you purchase them. So you go ahead, you get them for the planner that you had and then you realize, oh, well I've switched and I've still got this beautiful kit. So I kind of wanted to show you how I'm going to make it work. Um, hopefully this will help you if you decide to uh, switch over planners or you see a kit that you love and they just don't have it for your planner. Um, so this is going to be for the week of January 21st through the 27th. So let me go ahead and I'm going to get those pages out because with Happy Planner, that is one of the biggest perks for it, is that you can, um, you know, pull out your pages. So for this, um, I'm using a kit I got from Megan Renee Plans. It is um, Birch Birds. And so I've got the full kit here. I'll kind of show you the pages real quick because I have done an actual haul of it um, when I first got it in. And so these are actually the horizontal boxes, which should fit pretty well in my lines. We've got our check boxes and then this. So here is how I'm going to use the full kit. Um, I'm going to use as much as I possibly can. I am not a no white space planner, so I have no problem, obviously, with there being white space. But I really want to use um, as much of the kit as possible to really show you her stuff. Now, I did put Martin Luther King sticker down, and it's about to get covered up if I don't pull it up. So, I'm going to pull it up. I tore it. Um, I just won't be using that sticker. That is fine, though. Um, I can always replace it. So, I'm just going to lay out as much of this as possible and kind of show you what I ended up using. I might cut away and come back. Um, just so I'm not boring you, um, but we will see. So, and I am trying to use natural lighting today. Hopefully it will not get too shadowy and dark on us. We will try our best to make it work. So, and like I said, this is for Erin Condren, so there are going to be some lines that go over. Um, Megan Renee definitely cuts her stickers very well to fit the Erin Condren, and then she does do Happy Planner options, but I bought this when I was using my Erin Condren. So, I wanted to go ahead and just make use of it, because it is such a beautiful kit, and January is when we get a lot of our colder weather and it just seemed very wintry to me so I figured I would get it and use it and I do have a little bit of excess and I am one of those people I will just fold it over if it'll let me so I'm going to take these date dots or date covers here and lay those out Just trying to, I can actually see the lines underneath pretty well, which is great because that allows me to line them up. Just, I thought I would go ahead and film this um, and just show you all how I'm doing it to hopefully uh, help you out. If you've got kits you want to use and you've switched planners and you think, well, you can't use them, you can definitely use them. You can always make things fit. I buy vertical kits for Erin Condren and make them fit in my horizontal. I buy obviously horizontal kits and now I'm making them fit in a happy planner. I've bought happy planner kits and I've made them fit in an Erin Condren horizontal. That one's actually harder to do. Okay, so um, this didn't get cut so I'm going to have to lay it down at another time. So I'm actually going to hold off on laying down Sunday because I want to make sure I line them up and they're connected. I'll have to cut this one out, which will be super easy to do. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and skip those for right now. Then I want to go ahead and how I have been doing it, let's see, what do we have to use? I have been doing my work and to-dos, um, kind of putting my deco through here, events here, social media here, and then fitness and chores, which I already kind of laid stickers down. So we are gonna go ahead and I am going to use these check boxes for my weekend. And I think I want to put the weekend banner down first at the very top, which I just saw. I'm a little scattered, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll lay our weekend down. And again, I can kind of see the line at the top right through this, which is perfect because it allows me to kind of maneuver it, so there. And I will turn on a lamp here um, since it is getting a little dark. Hopefully that doesn't wash out the picture too much. So we will go ahead and we will do our checklist of our to-dos for the weekend. And then we will get our um, deco boxes laid out. And I think how I wanna do them, I think I wanna leave a little bit more space here because there will be work and school stuff going on, but there will not be any like events during the weekdays around here. So I think that's where we'll put those. So let's see. Oh, and I will use as much as I can. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Start with the bottom of that one. All right, so that one's white and blue. Throw some gray in here. Oh, and the cool thing about these just being the set designs is if an event comes up, I can put a box over these. It's not going to take away from the design too much. So, we've got those, and then we will, I really like these two. I wanna get use of them, I think. I really like the bird ones, so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead, put those over here, kind of side by side, and this will be a nice little opening if we have an event come up. So there's those two little boxes. I've got space left there, and then I've got two more to use. I think I'm going to go ahead and definitely use the leaves. On Friday there could be an event, but there will not be much going on at work. So I can always put my schoolwork up in that top box. Pretty much just the top two boxes are school and work. Um, let's see, I'll go ahead and use blue. And then here we will do my little events again. So, and then there are days that I don't do social media, um, but I like to leave them open in case I decide to lay something down. So I think for this week, we're going to do, um, I do wanna use as much of the kit as possible to kind of show you the best ways. Well, not even the best ways, but how I like to incorporate things. Um, so let's see. We can do, I've already got chores, so I was gonna use that for chores, but that would be silly. Um, we will do our three days of social media, um, primarily YouTube. 
so I'm trying to decide. I don't want to use the same boxes that go with those. So I think I will use the gray box here. And the reason I don't fill this in is because I don't want to reveal what I will be posting that day. So, which actually, you know what, we're not going to use the glitter headers there. Actually, I will. I'll go ahead and throw a glitter header in right there. And I'll do that for each of the days with my social media. So the next one I want to use would be this one. Since I'm kind of using the day before. So I'll put that down. And see, as you can tell, these are actually fitting really, really well, um, which is fantastic. Especially since it was not made for it. The one we didn't use. So the little spirally box. And again, I will set this kit aside. If we end up having any events, I will fill these in with boxes but I just wanted to try it out this way and see how I liked it. So, all right, and then we will go and we will alternate. We will do our to-dos. Oh, you know what? All of our to-dos are blue. So we're just gonna do blue to-dos all the way across the top. I did go over my weekend banner. I could have waited but I did not, and that is fine. Um, I think I will go ahead and, like I said, trying to use as much of this kit as possible just to show you different ways you can incorporate it. Um, we will throw a habit tracker down, and we're gonna go ahead and use the blue that goes with everything, because I do have a gray one, but um, if I save it, then uh, I can use it for something else. So we'll put a habit tracker down and then um, let's see over here I could put I think I'm going to take a little this week banner and put it over here and the paint's going to spill out and that's fine with me and then um, I think I'm going to take these little dinner ones and we've got for blue, which is great because we really only do meal planning for um, Monday through Thursday, and then after that, it's kind of like um, up to us. Well, obviously, it's always up to us, but uh, we wing it a little bit more. Sometimes we'll do carry out, sometimes we don't. And so I'm just going to add that to this little bottom space. And by we meal prep, um, well, we don't meal prep, meal prep, but my fiance kind of pre-plans dinner for the week every Sunday. It's something he enjoys doing, and it means that I don't have to do it. So it works out well for me. So, and then I don't really quite know exactly what chores I want to do each day, but I will lay stickers out for that when the time comes. And I think that's all I'm going to use from the kit. I like how it um, looks. I'm finally getting more comfortable with this layout than I was before. Um, and I left enough room up here that I could still go ahead and do like work and school and kind of keep those separate if I want or they can blend. So I'll show you how much. Well, let me show you. Here is my full layout. And I will turn off the lamp to see. Okay, that's way too dark. Um, my natural light's going away. But here is the full layout that I'm going to use for this week. And I will lay in my habit trackers and stuff. Um, I'll post a picture on my Instagram of the final layout. I do got to cut those out. Um, 
But that's how I used the kit, and I will show you, I still have a lot left, which is great, because um, I can use it later. So I've still got most of this page left. I've got a lot of this page left, a lot of that, a lot of that, and then just one of those boxes left, some date covers, bill due, and lots of glitter headers. So it is a great kit, especially if you don't mind white space, you can definitely stretch it and make it work. All right, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and I am going to do the week of January 28th through um, February 3rd. Um, this part shouldn't take as long. I have just pulled a bunch of different things. So I've got some glitter headers from the Winter Vibes kit we've seen recently, giving girl headers. I've got this full deco page or full boxes. And I believe these are for the Erin Condren, so we're gonna make those work. And then I've got these as well. And then I pulled some scraps over from the other kits that we have used this month. And so I just kinda wanna show you how I'm going to make all these kits kinda come together as best as possible. Um, my daughter's birthday is actually on this Sunday, so I am going to use the happy birthday box from this to go to go over there, and then we will lay down our Alice boxes. So this layout will be a little different than what I've done before, just because um, I'm not using a kit, I'm just using leftovers. So, so far I've only done kits. This week, it's all about improvising and just throwing a variety in. So I've got eight boxes and technically seven days. Um, we are doing Alice in Wonderland theme for her birthday, so I thought this would be perfect. So I am just going to kind of lay these out, and then I will be right back to show how we use the rest of the kits. Okay, so I laid those out. Um, I just laid them out through here. I put an extra box over here, and then I've got three of them there, and then of course, happy birthday at the top, because that is the most important thing. I do got this extra little box, but that is fine. And then I pulled these washi strips. So I'm going to lay these at the very bottom of the page, and it'll kind of add some sparkle for my daughter's birthday. I thought that would be really cute. So in order to not have too much overflow, I'm gonna get it as close as I can to both the edge where the rings go and to the bottom. So now we've got some shimmer added for her birthday. And then these are from the New Year's kit that I had. Um, like I said, I just really wanted to get them used. Sometimes for me it is easier to completely flip the page um, to line things up. So, And I could have whited out the flowers down here, but honestly they don't bother me that much. Um, so there we go. I've got some glitter added down there just for her birthday. Um, I'm going to pull a little birthday banner right here and we will add this in since this is her actual birthday. Now her party will be on the second, but um, that's fine. Then I've got my full boxes here that I will pull in from, um, again, the New Year's kit. So we will do post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll get those laid down like I've been doing. And I do keep these other boxes empty in case I wanna add in like make Etsy listings or anything like that. Um, I like leaving it open so that I know there's a day I have free, I can put edit videos on there, anything like that. Um, because essentially the days that I'm posting a video, I'm probably not working on it. Or it could be edit this video in order to post it. Um, then let's see what else. I do have these check boxes here, but I'm kind of looking at it and I don't think they're gonna fit anywhere. 
Actually, you know what? I'll take one of these and I'll put it underneath for her birthday because we could very easily have some things that need to be done that day. So I'll put that in. And then, like I said later, I will fill in these chores. Right now, it's just kind of showing you more ways that you can use kits. Um, and I'll lay out my other stickers and I will show those in my um, Instagram. If you're interested in me going back to doing Plan With Me's where I lay out all the stickers, please comment below and I'll definitely start doing that again. I just don't want to be on here too long doing a Plan With Me and, you know, having people get bored with it. Um, so I also pulled these Today headers and I was going to add them to the top but I don't think I'm going to now. I think I'm just going to add these little Giving Girl bow headers. These were out of an oops bag, so they may not all be cut the best. So we've got those, and that is what I'm gonna do with that one. I am gonna throw some glitter headers down. I've got these, um, let's see, we'll do a blue one here. We'll do a pink one over the black. Again, to kind of use them and just to kind of close off that empty space. I do have a pink one I can use. And then I'll use blue on the next one. There we go. That kind of closes the gap there on that. And then we're just going to finish this page off with our Giving Girl headers and adding the glitter header. And I might add one more square down for um, obviously the event of my daughter's birthday. So um, these glitter headers are just going to, or they're not glitter headers, these Giving Girl headers are just going to go for the weekdays. I'm not going to do it for this. Um, and then I said I'm going to throw a um, blue glitter header down here just to kind of fill the gap. And then I do need to grab one more box of some sort to use to do the event because this is going to be my daughter's birthday party. And Okay, so I grabbed one more box from our New Year's page. I am going to go ahead and throw one of these headers up here and I am going to put that right there because this will be my to-dos for the day and then down here the last thing we will do for the day will be my daughter's birthday. So that's kind of our event. It is kind of lining up with my social media stuff, but that's just because I put my deco here because I know I will have like a cleaning list to do that morning. So here is my layout using my various stickers and I will link all of them below, including the kits that I am just using pieces of so that you have a good reference point. So hopefully that will uh, help you with some inspiration on how to use um, the Erin Condren horizontal or Erin Condren vertical boxes as um, good deco for this as well as using other pieces from Erin um, Condren kits in your happy planner. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.